Hey guys, Destin the RV Guide here, going over more of that RV lifestyle stuff. Together we can tour the newest models, we're going to go over some RV tips and tricks, maintenance tips and tricks, RV news, and a whole lot more. If you're part of that RV lifestyle, make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along for more. Hey there, Destin over at Camping World in lovely Center Conway, New Hampshire. I got a treat, we are looking at a 2024 Cougar 23 MLE which I did a, a recent video with their travel trailer variant of this. This is the fifth wheel version of the floor plan. It's a rear kitchen. You're 7,700 pounds, uh, just under 28 foot. So small frame, a lot packed in it. Let's go check it out. So at the front here, of course, pivoting hitch head standard on all Keystone products. Right underneath there, dual battery box. Uh, they are not coming with the lithiums anymore. You can option them but they are not coming standard anymore. So that's a good update for 2024. A giggy box right behind that for a true battery disconnect and then a G-rated spare tire, which comes standard on all Cougars. On to the door side here. You're gonna have a 30 pound LP tank with another 30 pounder on the other side with an automatic switch over. Huge pass through storage, which they redesigned in 24. They took away the uh, the old flooring that they did and added this easy to clean surface, nice and simple. LED light on the inside here so you can see what you're doing at night. And then on the other side, I'll show you in a second, are all our setup services and such. In command system here, which is the brain for the touch screen of the computer. You got a manual override for all your switches and controls in case it does fail, it never will. TV outside in case you want to add it and a lot of other customers will put like a mini fridge in here or something like that for an added outdoor kitchen But wait, there's more Solid steps when you get in safety rail, which is really nice. It comes all the way down. And it's nice and solid And I mentioned an outdoor fridge You won't have to add because they do give you this nice little cooktop here You get the pull-out griddle you get a small hot point 12 uh, 110 volt fridge nice little addition which you don't see in a rear kitchen very often around this size ladder to get to the roof fully walkable roof fully walkable slide outs which is unheard of in this segment led lights on your brake lights marker lights etc you're going to have an accessory hitch which is good for 2000 pounds not 300. Uh, you can tandem tow in states that will allow you to do it you got your four pin connector in case you wanted to throw a boat behind here or something like that on to the other side tankless hot water heater which is an upgrade usually you'll see a six gallon unlimited hot water um i, I think they said you can take a uh, i think it was a 22 hour shower in this before you run out you're, you're not going to uh, on to the hookup center so we have a fully enclosed and heated water hookup center your external shower winterization port and your city and fresh connections of course your dumps are going to be right here. No more fumbling under the slide out trying to find it and find your poles or anything. You also are going to have a auxiliary solar in case you wanted to add more than the 200 that's already up there. And your key TV, which means no more running splitters through the camper and having wires poking through windows and all that annoying stuff. Now that the boring stuff's out of the way, let's go ahead inside. And here we are. We're in the 2024-23 MLE. Awesome layout here. You get this huge, huge rear kitchen. Uh, your three burner Furion cooktop with the whole Furion appliance package. You got your microwave over there. Decent sized oven. Now, I'll tell you what, you see a lot of competition coming with the four burner stoves and the residential sized ovens. I've been getting so many of them returned. The copper lines that they used to feed the gas to the burners, they're so thin that they won't actually heat up evenly, and you're not going to have any easy time cooking on there. So they stuck with the Furion three burner tried and true. It's never failed. I'd rather go with something that's known to work instead of experimenting. So good on Cougar. Two bay metal sink, a residential faucet with a pull down. And underneath there, lots of storage space. You can put a real trash can down there. You're not looking for a spot to do it. Four full extension drawers. And they updated the hardware they used this year. They used like this nickel finish. It looks awesome the way that they did it. Lots of storage up above for your hidey holes and your cups and your bowls and all that good stuff. Onto the fridge. So they've done it for a few years. 12 volt, 110 volt combo. You got a 10.4 cubic foot fridge there. Lots of space. And you can tell by right in the back, you see there's no fins there. That's how you can tell it's an electric fridge, not a gas fridge. You learned something today. 
Theater seating, has the heat, has the massage, has all that good stuff, which is directly right in front of your television, if the lovely Katrina could spin around there. Look at it! Uh, you have your dinette, which will drop down to a bed. You have storage under the far dinette, but on the close one, if you can follow me right here, they did a really good job. They added this nice little, like, cubby for all your shoes and stuff, because nobody knows where to put your shoes in these things. They thought of it. Coffee bar right next to that. Decent amount of storage with your breaker box right underneath there. This is one of these little stickers here. It shows an inverted outlet. So I mentioned that there was solar already up on the roof. There's a 200 watt panel up there. These little stickers show that the uh, outlets that have them on there, they're inverted outlets. So you can actually run a regular uh, piece of equipment off that, off your battery. So makes boondocking a little bit easier. Decent amount of storage up above, and then a full pantry. And remember, we're under 30 foot on this camper, too. Let's keep going. Up top in the restroom, nice little sink area. Medicine cabinet actually opens. There is storage back here. There's a nice little area for your linens and such like that. And then a full-size shower, about six foot tall. I got plenty of space here. I'm not cramped in and worried like that. They did good. It's a one-piece shower surround, so they, they've done well. Shouldn't leak on you. Porcelain, commode, of course. And then a nice little towel rack up above. Onto the bed area here, you're going to have a queen-size bed. Storage all around. Those inverted outlets, you're going to have two more right underneath there. A window that actually opens. You're going to have prep for a second air conditioner if you choose to add one. Up here in the northeast, probably ain't going to make any difference. If you're down in Texas, it's about a necessity. You do have a light switch, so you can actually turn stuff off. TV mount on the wall here. And then, of course, your wardrobe on a slide out. Lots of storage space for her. More for her. More for her. And then he can have that one over there. And I, I think that's about what I have for the tour of the 2023 MLE. Gosh, if I miss something and, and you have any more questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy to take a comment. Uh, send me a message. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Or come on down to the dealership.